because we understand that right now we have to fix urgent problems, but in the long run, we also have to fix the system so that it works for everyone. To eliminate this virus anywhere, we need to eliminate it everywhere. While scientists work around the clock to develop a vaccine as governments, we have the responsibility to ensure it'll be distributed quickly and fairly around the world. On Friday, I announced that Canada will provide $440 million to the COVID-19 Vaccine Global Access Facility, including $220 million to the Advanced Market Commitment to help low- and middle-income countries access vaccines. This is an important initiative, and I encourage other governments to join in as well. We need to work together, and not just on vaccines. Canada believes that a strong, coordinated response across the world and across sectors is essential. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. Last week, our government committed to investing more in international development while supporting countries, uh, developing countries on their economic recoveries and resilience. And on that note, today, I can announce that Canada will invest $400 million more in humanitarian and development funding, which will go directly to trusted partners on the ground fighting COVID-19. Our government is committed to investing even more in the years to come. In addition, we will continue to advocate for extending the debt service suspension initiative. We will also work on ensuring the special needs of small island developing states and other vulnerable countries are taken into account. Building back better means getting support to the most vulnerable while maintaining our momentum on reaching the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the SDGs. Canada is here to listen and to help.